Hi everybody. Pray you're doing well. Uh, what I was going to talk about today is, well, we'll talk about Trump a little bit and about the six pointed star of Moloch and how all of the people, the politicians, I should say, and are all in with the six pointed star of Moloch. So the first thing, I suppose, is now you do realize that in Israel, that according to how they believe that Jesus Christ is not the Lord. They just say he was somebody that, you know, a prophet that came here just like all the other ones, except Jesus died for us. You know, none of the other ones didn't even come close to, they were just a bunch of satanic, I'm sure pedophiles, baby killers, you know, just like what's a lot going on right now. So Trump has everybody believing that he is this awesome Christian, you know. He's got, you know, he's got these people that pray over him and he's just, uh, just all, you know, just for the Lord, you know. He loves Jesus, you know. It's, except there's one problem. Is that a few years back, he converted over to Judaism. So he is actually not a Christian. And... That's not good for, unless you like the seven Noahide laws, because that's what they, that's what they're all about over there, you know, which if you've ever looked at them, know that if you worship Jesus Christ, that you'll have your head cut off because if you worship anybody else than God, they say, then, you know, you'd, you'll be killed because you can only worship God. Well, they don't believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Lord. So that would be a reason you'd get your head chopped off. Or however, whatever. So now that you know that Trump is a Zionist, you know, just like all the rest of them. You know, look at Biden now in his uh, talks that he's having... I just seen a speech yesterday, which I don't know how people can even stand to, stand to watch. We know that he's just a puppet, and he's not the one making any of the decisions or anything. But, boy, they couldn't have picked a more idiot to put in front of everybody. It just must be a huge joke to them, is all I can think. So, But they're all, you know, you'll, all, you'll see them all over there wearing their little black hat, you know, with their hands on the wailing wall. You see Trump doing it, and... You know, Jared Kushner, you know, he's a, over, you know, and his daughter, she converted over to Judaism. And so they're not for us and neither are any of them. You know, you see DeSantis over there wearing his little turban with his hand on the wailing wall. Biden, you know, he's over there. It's all, and they all have dual citizenships pretty much in the, Everybody that's in the Senate and Congress and all of that, they're off dual citizenship, which should tell you something. <clears throat> so expect us to get, because uh, they want they want this, this huge war, you know, the war of Armageddon. You know, they're going to bring in, they think, the, the new world order. They got to have enough chaos to do it. That's their motto, you know, order out of chaos, the Masons. And they're all Masons. So just remember that. If you think that you're going to go vote for the super good Christian or whatever, he's not. It's all, a, it's all planned out. Just like what's going on over in, uh, sorry, going on over in uh, where they have the six-pointed star of Moloch on their flag, you know. You know, Moloch, he was the one that everybody did their child sacrifices to back in the day when, uh, you know, people would go and sacrifice their babies and give them to Moloch. And uh, 
So that's what that star, and that star has been around for way longer than what, uh, since 1947 or 48. It was used back in the Egyptian times and Babylonian times. Symbols have contact energy, you could say, that, uh, well, spirits will attach themselves to it, like demon spirits will attach yourself to these contact objects. Just like, why do you think that the witches and all that, and they do their little seances, they got their upside down pentagram on the floor with a circle? Well, that's a symbol. And they've always used that throughout thousands of years. The six pointed star as well, seven and eight pointed star as well. And uh, so you know that it's all planned out. This is all a big show, but even though if it's not real, they'll get people to believe that it is real. Just like they did with the shots and with the COVID stuff, you know, all garbage. But even though it was garbage, look at how many people believed it and still, and still believe it to this day. Well, back to the wars though over there. So there's gotta be something that happens that's gonna get the US into this I mean but they sent over two aircraft carrier fleets right now and I had this thought coming to me this morning because if you remember uh, the propaganda and stuff that it came out before with like Iran doing the mock exercises of taking out an aircraft carrier or whatnot you know I've seen that several times so that would probably get us involved over there, wouldn't it? They said that they wanted to take out Iran a long time ago. It was one of the countries that they have to take out. So if they took out one of the aircraft carriers and sunk that with all of our people on there, well, mostly everybody in America then would be rooting for to go over there and kick their butts, you know, even though it would be done on purpose, probably by our own government. Oh, they never do that kind of stuff, I forgot. Except like the Gulf of Tonkin when they did. And the Twin Towers. And every single war that there's been, there's been a false flag to get it going. So what's going on over there where they love their, you know, the six-pointed star of Moloch in physical Israel, you know, the physical place. Everybody's waiting for the third temple and all of that, you know. Well, they're going to be waiting. I mean, it's not going to... But, you know, they'll be out of here, they think. You know, except it's spiritual now. They're not going to be out of here. They're going to be here until the Lord, you know, comes back. We must endure till the end. What is all these people going to think when they, uh, let's say, like, if you know, they take Damascus off the map, you know, because they think they're going to be out of here right before that happens. And then the Antichrist will come and they'll sign a covenant with many, even though Jesus already did that on the cross. So they're taking away everything what Jesus did for us because they're not trusting in that he will have our, or we have his protection going through the tribulation, which we're already in right now. And That's sad. It's very sad. I once thought, or I believed in the pre-tribulation rapture for a little bit, but I'm so thankful that the Lord pulled me out of that. And it, uh, so, anyhow, I got kind of sidetracked on that, but kind of all together anyways. So taking out the aircraft carrier, that would definitely, they'd have to do something then, you know. And everybody would be all for it because most of the people are all like, you know, these so-called Christians, you know, saying, you know, I see, uh, they're saying, you know, we stand with Israel, you know, pray for Israel, you know, we're, we are Israel now. We're, this ain't the Old Testament. We're not living by the Old Testament. It's not physical. It's spiritual now. We are spiritual Israel. We're spiritual Jews. We get the spiritual blessings of Abraham. And, but nobody, you know, you can't tell anybody anything. 
because they some kind of MK Ultra that they've done on everybody for getting all the shots and doing you know believing in what they believe in because all the big pastors everywhere and all these churches you know they're all for the pre-tribulation rapture too you know they that's what they teach everybody well one red flag that you would have to have if you believe what the word of god says he says that the path is narrow and few find it not hundreds of millions of people in these churches that are sitting there waiting to get zapped out of here before anything bad happens to them even though stuff's happening bad in other places of the world why didn't they get raptured out yet you know doesn't matter they just won't listen but we just have to try to tell them you know it's all that we can do so that's uh all i was gonna talk about today i just had that thought this morning where oh yeah they're gonna take out an aircraft carrier and that'll be the false flag to get the u.s involved in everything over there and then hold on to your hats. So, anyhow, I will talk to you guys later. See you, love you, bye.